Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez. The title of this presentation is The Prospectus as a Study Guide. What is the purpose of this presentation? I will discuss how the prospectus fits into the critical diamond. I will talk about the importance of the prospectus as a study guide. I will go over what I have learned as a researcher and finally I will discuss the importance of asking fellow classmates when uh, writing a research paper. There are four parameters for evaluating research, research topics and this is what the critical diamond it's all about. The critical diamond it's an excellent tool uh, for evaluating these research topics, for finding out exactly uh, what is it that you uh, should write about. And the first thing is the scholar. So before you do uh, evaluate any uh, alternative, uh, you have to consider yourself. Um, there is an important balance to consider as you think about uh, what you most want to do. Uh, some projects are attractive because they fit into uh, they fit you know your current skills and, and, and abilities. Uh, you are more likely to make a genuine contribution to your field uh, if you emphasize your strength. So this is very important. You also uh, a speed and uh, simplify execution of the project. Uh, all the projects uh, contribute to your development as a scholar. Does um, making a subsequent project uh, more powerful, and this is a key consideration for every scholar because it is our responsibility to invest in and, and develop our skills. Now, the second thing in, in the critical diamond is the field. Uh, obviously, um, you know the field is is a key element. Uh, what should you write about, um, what it's needed. Uh, you must also think about how interesting your possible writing project uh, is to your field. Uh, and this is an important, uh, uh, this is as important as thinking about uh, your own interest in the, the project itself. And um, so the third component over here is obviously uh, uh, the subject. So uh, even if your project involves, you know, historical data, it is uh, good advice to consider what uh, uh, can be learned from the subject of, uh, of the study itself. Um, there are at least three things to consider before embarking on a project. Uh, one, uh, the intrinsic need for the study or the article, uh, site access, and the availability of data. So it is very important to think about these three components uh, when we uh, are doing, uh, when we are choosing to uh, write about any any topic. And, and finally, the the fourth component of the uh, critical diamond here is the portfolio. Um, so any one writing project is advanced at the expense of other alternatives, whether we pay much attention to them or not. So obviously when you are trying to decide what you're going to write about, uh, you're going to find out that there are a number of subjects and topics that come to mind and uh, you may change your mind based on conversation that you have with uh, fellow classmates, friends and family and so forth. Um, it is very important to, to have a list of these topics, uh, have a portfolio and obviously some of these topics that you may not choose uh, at the moment they will be uh, excellent source of information uh, when you decide to uh, continue uh, writing in your field. So again um, the, the four components of the critical diamond uh, my field obviously meet first the, the scholar, um, my field, my subject and then uh, my portfolio. 
how does the completed prospectus fit into the critical diamond for evaluating research alternatives? Uh, before we answer this question, uh, it is important to understand, well, first of all, what is the prospectus? And, and second, uh, what is a critical diamond? The prospectus as a studied guide. The prospectus was, uh, it's an excellent tool. Um, it, 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 we could say that it's kind of, um, it taught us baby steps on how to prepare for a scholarly writing. Um, starting by choosing the field and the subject for research, um, how to write an effective title and abstract, uh, the prospectors also uh, taught me how to write an effective introduction, uh, how to create a great outline, um, the use of conversions and exemplars when, when doing some uh, research, uh, when writing a research paper, and, and also um, you know how to effectively write uh, a problem statement. So uh, personally I think that uh, without the uh, prospectus template, it would have been very difficult for me to get to the point what I got uh, about my research paper. So I am I am very happy, very glad that this uh, prospectus was uh, provided to us as a studied guide. Uh, I think that um, it is a tremendous tool, and, and personally, I can say that. Um, you know, again, it would have been very difficult for me to write the, the skeleton of my paper to the point where uh, I have it today. What I have learned as a researcher, uh, this class has, has been very enlightening to me. Uh, I thought that uh, I knew how to write well, but after this class, then I realized that I knew nothing, or at least uh, now I know that I, I knew less than what I thought I knew. And um, so in, in, in this uh, class, I have learned uh, how to choose the field and subject uh, for research um, a lot more effectively than uh, what I used to, uh, what I used to know. Uh, I have learned uh, on how to write an effective title and abstract. I have also learned you know how to write a great introduction and and how to create a great outline. Um, I have learned a lot about how to use conversions and exemplars as, as a writing tool and um, I have also learned on how to uh, to create how to write uh, a great problem statement. And again, this is just a, a summary of uh, all the things that I have learned as a researcher in this uh, uh, preparing uh, for a scholarly writing class. Why is it important to ask fellow classmates? Well, for many reasons. Uh, first of all, when you write, you should write on the, you know, on the perspective of the reader. Um, sometimes we have ideas what we uh, we think that people might be interested in. We have ideas what we think uh, an attractive title might be. Uh, my experience was that, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just a classmate. In my particular case, um, a lot of the people that I talked to were colleagues and people in my field, uh, some friends, uh, people uh, basically in the uh, technology community. And um, what I found was that sometimes what I thought was an interesting topic, somebody came in and gave me an idea, maybe changing the word, maybe reordering the words. Uh, the same thing happened with my abstract and my, uh, and my introduction. And I have to say that uh, after talking to these people and getting feedback and, uh, and asking some friends about what they thought uh, 
about the different components of my paper, I actually went around and changed it. And finally, I think that it came out uh, um, better than originally uh, before I had asked those people. So again, I think that um, uh, talking to fellow classmates, talking to friends, talking to uh, people in the uh, the community, the and when I mean the community, I'm talking about uh, the field of study. The if you are going to write about uh, a technology topic, then the community would be people within the technology, people that uh, that know about the subject. Although I also use people that were not aware of the subject and, and actually uh, it is very important to ask people that are not in a specific community to see what they know about and also to find out what they uh, are interested in knowing about that topic. Okay, so we have come to the conclusion of this presentation. What do we cover? I discussed the prospectus and the critical diamond. I talked about the prospectus as a studied guide. I also talked about what I have learned as a researcher. And finally, I discussed the importance of asking fellow classmates when writing a research paper. Thank you for watching this presentation.